tour the other day, and by the other day, I mean a month ago. I posted the video about Sukun and Esprit in Shibuya, his fight with Jogo, and yada 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 yada. Yeah, that video did pretty well. Appreciate y'all for that. That was good. But what wasn't good was the Blu ray version coming out the day after. If y'all don't know, Mappa Animator is working to release JJK. We're working insane hours, dropping episodes weekly. And because of that, they weren't able to finish Shukuna vs Maharaga. And on the Blu-ray DVD version, they promised to have the full thing finished. And not even 24 hours after I dropped this video, they released the Blu-ray version, which made me mad. And I told y'all I'd spin back, so uh, here we are. And yeah, Shukuna vs Maharaga Blu-ray edition, make me slender still included. Enjoy. So the other day when I was just chilling in my bed, I was thinking, did y'all ever realize how stupid it was that Megami jumped into the domain to save everyone from Dagon? Like we literally get told on day one that domains are weaker from the outside. So all he really needed to do was Nue into the air, Max Elephant on top, and boom, everyone is good. But for some reason, his dumbass went in there thinking he's Superman, nearly killing him and everyone inside if it wasn't for the plot. Then he almost got cooked again by Toji. And people want to talk about how Toji chose him because he was the strongest sorcerer in the area. But nigga, being the strongest sorcerer in a crew consisting of Nanami, a pre-heavenly restriction Maki, and a fucking cripple is like being the best Kapong player on iMessage games. Cause one, that game sucks. And two, nobody cares. And there's probably some Chinese kid in a sweatshop that can play it better than you can. Nearly died against Toji too. If once again, it wasn't for the plot. And now he about to get cooked again. And damn, going up to this bum ass nigga over here, gotta be a bottom five way to go out. Even more is than when Nightwing got cooked by a rock, cause at least a rock, you know, served some purpose in life. But you're gonna get cooked by a 5'3 dude who's 120 pounds soaking wet, wearing a ponytail, who was purposely going after low level players to get his KD ratio up? A bum way to go out for a bum character. So while he's getting cooked over here, he starts going on a little monologue talking about how the 10 shadows have to be beaten in a subjugation ritual so he can use them. And after he finishes his little monologue, he finally summons him. Maharaga, all that hype, all that build up, all that edging just to be brought out against a fembo. This is a disgrace! And just as he summons him, Sugana senses a disturbance in the force and decides to go check it out. And I low-key almost felt bad for Arame over here. Cause imagine it's like the first time in over a millennium that you've seen your homeboy. And when he leaves to go do some BS, he don't even dap you up on the way out. Like that's just crazy, man. But then we go back to Maharaga. He spawns in and wastes no time booming the hell out of Megami. And damn, his ass was dead on impact. Look at his neck, bruh. Shit facing like an obtuse angle. Got him moving like an owl. He is gone. And just when Maharaga's about to get rid of this kid too, the goat himself pulls up. And it's crazy because at first I thought this was one of Haruda's miracles. Because Sukuna saving a human being willingly? I thought I'd see the Pistons reach the playoffs before that happened. But nah, he proceeds to go two for two, saving Megami as well, saying that he needs him for something. Huh, I wonder what that could be. He realizes that to save Megami, he's gonna have to beat Maharaga so he can stop the subjugation ritual. So he pulls up on him and gets ready to box, and our second match of the night begins. Round two, fight. Maharaga comes first, but Sukuna blocks it, hits him with a flip and a right that got him looking flabbergasted. Then he hits him up with a dismantle. He goes in for part 2 of this 2 course meal, but Maharaga gets back up and parries him, sending them both into some buildings. Sukuna hops out and we see that he got some coke and popcorn with him. How he snatched that so fast, I do not know. Then he casually comes up and dismantles Maharaga too, like he just swept into an Instagram story. The disrespect, but Maho does not let that slide. He pulls up and drags this man on straight glass and throws him again. But Sukuna manages to escape that unscathed. Them uniforms got max HP. Sukuna dodges moving up and his weave game is on 100 cause damn that man can move. Doing all this on a Y axis too, that is crazy. And check out Maharaga, bro is the first and the last person to swim on concrete. Unless we talking about that one dude from One Piece. That form on point too. They get up top and Maharaga comes in with a fist of hell and we see Sukuna dodge that. He comes in, says mink, and Maharaga grabs him like he about to do something. But I knew that was Cap when I saw Sukuna smiling like this. Turns his shit into Pastrami and then goes two for two off the fadeaway. Putting him on one knee, Maho strikes back with a wind gust and with a smile on his face, Sukuna just takes it. And it don't matter how hard you throw this man, he always gonna land on his feet. Then Maho hops in mad as hell, foot in one hand, and he attempts to fully body Sukuna. But Sukuna tells that boy to hit the weight room by throwing his ass off and coming out on top. And y'all don't even know how crazy that is, cause fully bodying someone who's coming down at that angle at full speed is damn near impossible. 
then as Maho regains his balance, he and Sukuna come in and hit this, we'll use the power of friendship as punch, destroying a few windows in the process. Then they proceed to go hit for hit, going so hard they got the debris levitating, with Sukuna winning the encounter with the slash. The building collapses and we see Maho attempt to ascend to heaven, just for Sukuna to come in, wrap this man in a contrap. Where does he even find this shit? And send bro into an indoor parking lot. Looking at the camera too, trying to see if we saw that shit too. Like, okay, bro, that was tough. Now get back to the fight. Now Maharaga is mad. He starts straight heaving these cars at Sukuna, which end up doing no damage. Sukuna sends off a dismantle response like he's shooting a tap in, and we see that damn near took Maho's face off. Just for him to put it back on. Had Sukuna coming in saying, damn, you really like that. And Maho having this goofy ass grin on his face. He think everything that game. Then, we get some scenes of the NPCs just chilling around, trying to avoid the god level threat in the area, and we see that this bum is still here. Like, is this nigga slow? The second I find out that Sukuna is out of the vicinity, I would have been gone. Catch my ass in the next area code, bruh. Call me Amelia Earhart, cause y'all would have never heard from me again. Dude's out here getting cockblocked by a car. Yeah, he deserves to go. Then we see Sukuna pop back in after getting launched into a building. And besides the fact that once again, he seems to have infinite health on that fit, let's talk about bro over here rocking one of the worst fits of all time. Bro got a hat with three hoodies that don't even come up to his wrist, baggy ankle length sweatpants, and no shoes. Yeah, after this travesty to the fashion industry, bro had to go. And Sukuna knew that too. Pops out with this <clears> clean ass <throat> dodge that got Maharaga looking goofy, then ups his KD ratio on some innocent bystanders. Hopefully got to that one nigga too. Then he gives Maharaga the dismantle spam of hell. This hurt me just looking at it. Got bro laid out on the floor looking like an inverted Project X. No, not that one. This one. Sukuna gets down and he can feel that something was off with that one. And obviously, that did no damage. And Maharaga can adapt all he wants, but he will never adapt to these violations. He lets Maharaga get up, weaves him one, two, then catches his blade with his mouth for no reason. He breaks it, sends him up to Jesus, got Maho looking at us like, he's right behind me, isn't he? Then he catches his oop without the backboard and rocks his shit into another corporate building. Sukuna spamming that self alley oop the same way Harden be spamming them step back threes. There's no stopping it. Violation so diabolical, he got bro foaming at the mouth. Damn, and Sukuna is out here just loving this, talking about some again, and hitting him with this dismantle. He too busy trying to get some flicks with the gram. Like he wasn't even ready for that left hook. Sends him flying, and now we got a battle in the sky, and Sukuna was going crazy. He comes in, trying to hit Maharaga, but he dodges it, and Maharaga gets weaved on one on his own. He tries again, but Sukuna blocks it, says, I did go to spin move. I said spin move. And sends that boy soaring. And look at this. Maharaga is still stuck in an animation and Sukuna is already on go. This is the type of locked inness that you love to see. And what he does right here is absolutely crazy, bro. Bro basically moonwalks, weaves, bro, mid air, and comes in with a behind the back no look 360 tapping. Bro, busting out all the moves. I didn't even know how, how does he even move like this. He spins back on some monkey, I mean, <clears throat> monkey shit, swinging on the vine, and he puts him back down again. Then he hops in. Watches Maharaka miss at point blank range like he's Holland and traps him in another one of his Looney Tunes as contraptions. In another universe, Sukuna definitely got a job at DR Horton or working as an architect or something because what he's been building in this short amount of time is crazy. Now Maho pissed off again. He breaks free, sending a whole pile of rubble down and we see the NPCs are out here tweaking, running for their lives. Except for this dumbass parent over here. What are you still doing here, man? Over here sitting here and watching this? You got a kid, bro. Go away and run. And now I'm gonna lie. It's the perfect time to use this image. It's time to let go. Especially him, him, and him. This nigga on top better than me. I would have been all like, Damn it, bitch, I said let go. And give them boys a free ticket to a Juice World concert. <laughs> Gotta put me first, you know? Then we go back to the fight. We see Sukuna cock back with this insane ass form and heave a dismantle left handed like he Tua. And just like Tua, that shit goes about halfway across the field before he gets jump scared by Maharaga. He uses this man as a platform cleaves the rubble and then uses that as a platform to escape trying to get on a 200 IQ anime moments YouTube video but Maharaga is not letting that happen snipes him with a train Sukuna cleaves that and tries to get out but then he sees Maharaga come in and when we get to this frame we just see bro straight standing on air like he says slash fly like he in Roblox how does he do this once again I don't know he blocks the attack and while he gets hit he notices that Maharaga is using cursed energy which has bro impressed he gets snuck into a train again 
then gets thrown into another building. And when we cut to the next scene, we see bro over here standing with no damage whatsoever, posted up for the gram. I don't even question when he does shit like this anymore, man. I just look at it and move on with my day. He just like bra for real doing things in year 1000 that most niggas can't even do in year 10. Maharaga hops in, and Sukuna takes this as an opportunity to hit this insane Livy Dunn, Suni Lee, Gabby Douglas fucking routine, and dismantle everything but Maharaga, and then he starts tweaking. And you just gonna have to hear this for yourself. <laughs> And now that man is certified locked in. He starts going crazy. Starting off with this nasty dismantle, holding this follow through, obliterates Maharaga and tells him to get that weak shit out of here. Then Maho pulls up on Sukuna with a jump scare, standing there menacing as hell for no reason. Hit the same pose as him and everything. And they just start throwing hands going hella fast. So I'm gonna need y'all a peep game real quick. Maho comes first, acts like he's about to bite bro's hand off before coming in with a sneaky left hook. Sukuna blocks that though, and then gives him the future Gohan treatment off another dodge. Didn't even use a slash for that either. Cut that shit off with nothing but straight malice. True to his abilities, Maho adapts to this by using that wiener on his head on offense. But just like Nikki in 2024, this nigga got no hits. And he proceeds to get juked so badly by this diversion that he out here looking in the opposite direction. Shit crazy. Then after another slash, Sukuna hits this insane step back no look fade away from downtown. Back deeper than the Mariana Trench. Tell me one anime nigga or basketball player in real life hitting this shit. Nobody. He manages to take Maho's lower body off. But before that happens, he's able to send a flying knee in his direction, which sends Sukuna flying. He attempts to spin back with a right hook, but as he gets hit, Sukuna slashes his arm off while out here looking like Tony Stark on White One poster. Maho tries to go in for part three, but Sukuna has had enough. He takes this man head off, and then he manages to steer himself away using the remnants of his body. And this shit right here is exactly why no 10 Shadows user could tame Maharaga. Cause imagine you cut the head off your opponent, and then they come back looking like this. I would just give up, but Sukuna sees this and starts smiling. Hits this clean ass dodge, then off the transition, his Maho with the nastiest pump fake in JJK. Had that nigga curled up into a ball anticipating the hit. Then he proceeds to hit this man with the cleanest no looker I've seen in a minute. Had to sneak another look at the camera just to make sure we saw that too. And this time, I'm not even gonna blame him because that shit was clean. Pump fake, then no look off the release is something I haven't seen since Steph Curry. Can't tell me he wasn't watching them highlights while he was in UG's body. But if you thought this was disrespectful, then you ain't seen nothing yet. He hits Maho with some more pump fake dismantles, got him shadow boxing. Then he hits some acrobatics and finishes off posing like MJ after the dismantle. Then he spins back, weaves, and hits Maho with an even more disrespectful pump fake. She had him hitting the, no, please don't hurt me. A nigga like me would have rage quit right there and then Cause how you gonna have me looking goofy like that And he gets even more disrespectful Gets a slash off the fake Says weave And has Maho hit this I got it I got it I don't got it Fucking routine Comes back in hitting a slant route And cuts him again And at this point you notice that Maho ain't even playing office no more. He moving like Jason Collins, straight D. I haven't seen defense this atrocious since Haley Van Lith versus Caitlin Clark. Due to the whole 360, just for Sukuna freaky ass to go up top, he not defending shit. And I can low-key understand Maho getting faked out by these two, but this is just crazy, man. Dude is getting faked out by a point. He hitting MJ poses once again. You know how insane you gotta be to have a pre-programmed machine to get PTSD from your hits? This shit crazy, man. But then, Maho locks in. He lures Sukuna into the air, thinking he about to smash in the ground. But while Sukuna's still going up, he takes a U-turn and spins back. Knew he cooked with that smile too. And most normal people would have been appalled at the sight of a 10-foot creature throwing an uppercut at them. But Sukuna over here geeked. Bro was way too happy to take this hit. But not for the reason you think he was. You see, most people thought that he was happy to take this hit because Maho finally got a hit on him. But actually, this was all a part of his plan. Sukuna had been purposely pump faking Maharaga so he could adapt and learn how to do it. In other words, he successfully got Maharaga to lie and in a way, corrupted his divine status. Not only proving that he was a better teacher in 10 seconds than Utahime was in 10 years, but that this nigga is crazy as shit. And you think this would have done some damage or at least knocked him to the ground, but like nah. He doesn't even miss a beat, goes in and out like the restaurant, parrying and dodging this punch. Rolls over this man's arm while kicking off a slash and attempts to throw hands. But Maho is block spamming, so he's like, I then gets on that P Diddy timing and forces his way in with no consent, sent him flying. And reminder, these two were fighting in a train station. Sukuna kicked this man so hard that he ended up at the top of the building. I have no momentum too, this nigga crazy. But Maharaga not gonna let that slide though. He attempts to strike back by full setting the whole ass building towards Sukuna, but he must not know who he's fighting. You already know Sukuna was posted up for the flick. 
Got his ass on the billboards too. They got him looking tough as hell. He puts that shit into a million pieces and watches the rubble fall around him. Shit was so hard, he had to take a bow. Congratulated himself on being him. Then we see a plane start crashing down. And watching this shit before the Blu-ray really had me confused. Cause before, we just saw Maho flying down here for no reason. But now we can see, he threw Sukuna up there first. Just for Sukuna to hit him with an Uno reverse and send him back down. Imagine if LeBron did his little off the backboard thing just for the ball to grab him and throw him into the hoop himself. That's the level of disrespect we're seeing right here. And he over here having a jolly good time, bouncing around like he's Luffy until Sukuna clips his ass with a damn flight wing. And I ain't even see his ass the first few times I watched this. I genuinely thought bro got clipped by air. He gets sent into the water and then get pinned down because Sukuna never does a job halfway. And we see bro done adapted to the water. There really is nothing this man can't do. But here comes Sukuna, and once again, look at this smile, man. He is the living embodiment of we are here to have fun. Everything just a game to him for real. And in the original, he ended up hitting a 360 off this and hitting Maharaga with some dismantles, which I thought was hella cool, but he doesn't do that here. Instead, he lands, or whatever the hell we want to call this, and we see Maho pull up behind him, taking out that poor truck in the process. He does not like motorized vehicles. He ends up throwing Sukuna, who is once again ecstatic, and we see him wrap around this light post, hit a couple of thumb flick dismantles, and throw a boulder at him. Maho responds with throwing some of his own, which end up doing really nothing, but make Sukuna look cool as hell. He attempts to get rid of him for good with some more Luffy action, but that doesn't even come close, and Sukuna beats his ass for it. And y'all gonna have to take a look at these impact frames over here. Animators are going crazy on this. Dismantles had this man looking like a crackhead. After obliterating him with a gajillion dismantles, Sukuna decides here that it's time to change the game plan. He realizes that Maharaga's ability is to adapt to anything and everything, like a late throw-in in rock, paper, scissors. But there's a certain time limit to the adaptation, which has to do with that wheel on his head. So all you gotta do is beat his ass before he adapts. So he has the malevolent shrine. And I really don't think I realized how destructive malevolent shrine really was. And this is really Gojo's fault, because Bro was talking about how his technique was better while tanking it. But damn, this is crazy. Buildings turning into dust on impact. And honestly, I don't know how Maharaga was tanking this, because I know damn well he wasn't doing this in the manga. Had him looking tough as hell for no reason at all. Because in the manga, Maharaga gets cooked by Malevolent Shrine, then blown to smithereens by the fire arrow. But here, Sukuna is like, oh, he really eating that. I think it's green for me. Then we cut to the next scene, and this bum ass nigga is still here. Why are you still here, man? I'm telling y'all, I've said this before. I would have been in the next country by the time he was done with this. Hip hip hooray, ass run. Thank God he got stream sniped. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Before we end it off, this video was sponsored by Anime Express. Anime Express has a variety of merchandise from all your favorite animes, such as Jujutsu Kaisen, Naruto, Demon Slayer, One Piece, and others. They got a variety of stuff and cool things such as hoodies, t-shirts, necklaces, and this dope ass sword over here. Personally, my favorite is the Chosa hoodie because as much as I be hating on bro, this shirt is tough as hell. And if you want 10% off, use my code NOAH10 at checkout. Link in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching.